What's up, Sim Racer Larry TJ or Sim here. And today, I got another wheel in from Apex Sim Racing. Ordered this myself. I went ahead and got the Alcantara uh, version. Get a couple suckers in there. A couple stickers that was in the box. I didn't need to show you the brown box. This you might be interested in. So, uh, they sell these. These are actually, I guess, Sim Magic uh, version. That is. And I wanted to be able to snap it to my 8020 rig real easy and I thought why not red because I like red so yeah got these cool little snap-ons you just screw it into your 8020 rig right here and then you can snap your wheel onto here to hold it onto the side of the rig I just thought this was freaking cool so 15 bucks for a nice anodized sim magic uh, wheel you know wheel rim holder basically instead of using hangers I thought this is a little bit cleaner looking so yeah I thought this would be neat as I just said three times. Comes of course with the hardware for the 8020. Nice, all the Sim Magic, awesome. Pick these up, uh, yeah, in the uh, Mapex Sim Racing. All right, so on to the good stuff, more good stuff that is. I went ahead with to get the GTS rim here. I really just wanna use this for rally rims as you've seen some other videos I have. I already have a 320 millimeter rally rim. Uh, it's actually a little too big for me. I don't like it that much. It's really awkward to race with for me, uh, being a flat rim or not a, being a dished rim and then um, 330. So I like somewhere around the 300 millimeter rim. So this is a 320, 300. I think this is 300 actually. Let me look again. I forgot what I got. 300 millimeter rim. So the 330 was 320 or 330 is what I have. It was actually just too big for me. So. Anyway, this is what I went with. Plus you get all the buttons and stuff. Really, really good for RC. Uh, EAWRC is really what I use, want to use this for. And of course, also obviously some GT racing. As always, you got the seal here. Cut that baby open. Let's see what we got here. Usually off the camera, camera nest, but obviously comes in a nice box as always. Sorry, I'm using my phone here this time. It's just a little bit easier for me today. Oh, Daniel son. Looking a bit, a bit good. All right, nice Sim Magic cover as always. Oh, this is sweet. I likey, likey. Nice. Trying to keep it in camera, but still like drool over it myself here. Let me get the box out of the way here. Real quick, what's in the rest of the box here? I think it's, I don't know what it is. Let's see. Hey, okay, from the bottom of this box here, what is in here? Instructions on how to turn a wheel. Let's see. Here's in the box stickers, of course. More stickers, sticker, oh my. Auto matching and troubles, just a troubleshooting guide uh, to get it synced up. Factory reset instructions, paddle shifter adjustments, and so on. Got the uh, stickers for your wheel itself here. So that'll be nice. Oh, different colors here. Blue, yellow, red, the magic, and green. All right. And then of course your button plate uh, stickers here as well. And you got your little tweezers here. And then your uh, your little uh, Allen head here for to remove your buttons if you need to as well. So cool! Can't wait to dress this baby up. Put a skirt on her and a little sticker. And of course, you get your USB cord here to do your uh, update to your wheel rim itself as normal. All right. Well, that is just a first little quick unboxing of it. As you hear everything, seven-way funky switches as we're used to calling them. Two actual rotary and dials, dials here. These are actually a little bit smaller. Hold on. Here's my uh, Neo. And these are, if you're curious, these are quite a bit smaller little dials than what comes on the Neo, GT Neo. So look at that. It'll focus for me. A little bit smaller. Feels fine, but just an observation. Let me go to one here. There we go. Just a little bit. Anyway, I don't know. I'm being weird here, but it's a, uh, different anyway cool stuff 
Well, the reason I was uh, just pointing this out is because I had ordered some aftermarket ones, colored here ones, and I was wondering if those hats would fit uh, on here as well. Uh, but because I have some different color ones here, but doesn't look like they would to me, which is fine. So you got to get some different ones. But anyway, these are metal anyway, seems like. So I'm not really in a hurry to do that. But let's see what it looks like when I turn it on and uh, see the colors. Now, just some observations here, looking at this here, trying not to beat it up. It has these indentations here. I don't know if anybody's ever pointed this out. Some, some flat spots here on the wheel itself. And does it have it up here? No, it's nice and round up here. Nice lit red center in here. But where are you actually holding it like this? Uh, where you could be holding it here is some flats here. That's interesting. I've never had that. So it does have the no threads here going up to the thumb areas. That's going to be way more comfortable than than some of the other rims that I was using. So yeah, it feels nice. I like it. I like that. The carbon fiber, actual carbon fiber shifters, nice and quiet, but a nice sound to them at the same time. Are these adjustable width wise? Let me see. Yep, they are. Let me see if I can get the camera in there. There is the adjusters right there, so you can adjust them in and out. So obviously I can go further out a little bit more. I don't feel I need it with my long ass fingers. But if you got a little bit of nubs, I guess you could bring it out. But that fits about right where my crease and my finger hits when I'm grabbing gears. But that is what you have. And then of course, the regular quick disconnect that we all love, the QR. NRG style disconnect. So a very light rim, actually. I want to make note of that. This is a very light rim. As opposed to the GT Neo, this is actually pretty damn heavy comparative to this. This is much more bulky and heavier than it, but just maybe about a pound or two, maybe a pound heavier, two pounds. I would say it feels like two pounds heavier. Let me see what the finger feels like. About two pounds heavier. All right, just a quick little look up here, unboxing what you have, USB port here as well. Yeah, let's throw it up on the rig, see what we'll think of it. All right, stay tuned.